Hello, Grandpa here. Today is Grandma's birthday, and it is also Flag Day. So I am going to be making her a red, white, and blue breakfast. I'm going to be making her some crepes, and I will be using a very old recipe that has been passed down for generations. These are very cheap and easy to make. What's nice about them is that you can fill them with whatever you have available. Since it is summer and berries are in season, I will be using strawberries and blueberries, and I also have some farmer's cheese in my refrigerator, so I will be using that. So the crepes will have a red, white, and blue filling. The ingredients for the crepes are one cup of flour, one cup milk, two eggs, two tablespoons of melted butter. I have the butter here, but I'll be melting it. For the filling, I will be using fresh strawberries cut up, blueberries, and farmer's cheese. Here's how I make my crepe batter. First, I take the flour, put it into a large bowl, give it a little whisk around, Pour the cup of milk. Then take my eggs that I've slightly lightly beaten. Then take my melted butter and slowly add it to the batter. Mix, whisk it all up so it's nice and smooth. Then this is going to set for about five minutes while I'm heating up my frying pan. Here is the crepe pan I am going to be using to make my darling wife a special crepe. This pan is over 40 years old. Grandma gave it to me as a gift because she knows I like to make crepes. First, we have to heat up the pan on medium heat. Let it heat up. I've tested the pan with a little drop of water and it sizzled away. So now I'm gonna take some butter. Put some butter in a frying pan. Let it melt. Pour my batter into the center of the pan. Swirl it around. Let it sit till it gets set. About two minutes on this side. And it should get a little dry on top, that way you know the uh, side is done. But we'll take a look at it before we flip it over. Shake the pan a little bit to make sure it's not sticking. Let's take a peek underneath to see if it's brown. It is. It's been about two and a half minutes. Flip it over, and we'll do this side for another two minutes. It looks done, so now we're going to take it and put it on our plate. I'm making another crepe for Grandma. Same process, put the batter in the pan, twirl it around, see the top gets dry a little bit. 
And the first crepe you usually make in a pan is a tough one because the pan getting to the right temperature. Now this crepe here seems to be going to be a little bit faster. So it's about a minute, maybe a side. We flipped it over, so now we're going to do a minute on the other side. So we'll have two beautiful crepes for Grandma. Here is the filling on the crepe, red, white, and blue. Red strawberries, white Parmesan cheese, and blue blueberries. Now I have to fold it over. Now I've rolled up the crepe. Here's our crepe. I've garnished it with strawberries and blueberries. Now I'm going to sprinkle some confectionery sugar on top. Here is Grandma's beautiful crepe for her birthday and for Flag Day. Red, white, and blue colors. I hope she likes it. Grandma, breakfast is ready. Coming, Grandpa. Happy birthday, Grandma. This is your special crepe that I made for you today. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, thank you, Grandpa. It's my favorite breakfast, crepes. How did you know? What a special thing to make for my birthday. Yes. Mm. You deserve it. It looks delicious. And red, white, and blue. What a delicious breakfast with the strawberries and the blueberries and the farmer's cheese and this delicious crepe. So good. I'm glad you like it, Grandma. I sure do, Grandpa. Grandpa, you're the greatest. And the greatest crepe maker also. This tastes so good with the blueberries, the strawberries, and the farmer's cheese. And a little bit of confectionery sugar on top. What a wonderful breakfast you made for me, Grandpa. Thank you. And thank you everyone for joining me for my birthday breakfast.